Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to back to New Sakura Wars! It's a new chapter, which means time for another new costume. What do we got this time? Alright, for Seijiro, we've got his loungewear outfit, his final outfit for the entire game, and uh, everyone okay. else is moving on to their uh, tales from the theater. So Sakura's got the orphan tales. Hatsuho's gonna be from the Shinsengumi. Nice. Okay. Az Azami's gonna be uh, red. <laughs> Anastasia is gonna be the temptress. Oh, imagine that. D d wow. So totally not like her. And Clarissa is gonna get nonsense in tea. <laughs> God, that sounds like something you find on HBO now. <laughs> We're swipping back to the uh, classic Tokyo A, which I assume is music from Sakura Wars 1. And with that, we can keep going. Oh, wait, yeah, Anastasia's dying. Oh, right. You know, you're right. And Shadow Tokyo is here, too. You know? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forget Tokyo. about that kind of shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, a tornado of evil and Tartarus shows up! Yeah! Tartarus after I sneezed on it. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, previously on New Sakura Wars! <laughs> You know, I never understood why, I mean, you know, evil begets evil, but ha have they ever considered, like, hey, if I turn into this big nasty evil dude, that's probably going to ruin my complexion, like, that guy's missing half his face! Well, they had no more acne. Oh, that mean, because it got seared off by evil! Yo, what's up? Just woke up. I, I I like this. Like it's got a peanut on the back and everything, and like in a little pocket there. Like he is Peanut's biggest fan right now. Like I'd wear this, but it also begs the question: What fucking year are we in? Looks cozy. Looks modern. Well, I mean, we've always had anachronisms in this game. So yeah, well, they could explain it away with, like, oh, it's it, we're, we're just really, really smart and technologi technologically sound and all that, but... This one, I don't know. Okay, I really like how, you know, Reiji's gonna pull through, and it kind of reminds me of the skit from The Office where a gunshot is shot close to somebody's ear, and they're like, I'm a shot victim! <laughs> Walk it off, Reiji. Oh, yeah, Samira will be fine, because you love Samira. So, refresh my memory, did Samira just, like, disappear, or is she off fighting evil? I think she's off fighting evil. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, I really hope when we look back at the portraits, Anastasia's has been flipped around. Hit with graffiti. Will she be okay? Well, turn around the picture, see if she lived. There's like a little curtain over it. <laughs> and, if she, and if she dies, you pull a little cord and it opens up and there's a skeleton. I was just thinking just a red X. All right, so we got two people down. Reiji and Anastasia. Mm -hmm. Gotta go check on them. Don't really have much to do in here. Don't really have <laughs> any new bromides to find either. I thought you were gonna ask her, as like, hey, do we have any more bromides to buy? Don't think now's the time. <laughs> but it would be perfect. Like, I re I'm really enjoying loungewear here because it, it just gives me this persona of Kamiyama just being a, like a, a aloof douchebag. Super cash. Super cash, yeah. Well, uh, again, there's not really much to do here. Guess we'll just head on down to the hangar. 
Like, Super Cash Kamiyama seems like the type of guy that would skateboard everywhere, and then when somebody tells him he's loitering, he's just like, whatever, man. Whoa, what's that? Yes, pair of women's underwear? Shit, man, I better go put that in the laundry. Oh, Seijuroka. I was so scared that you had died! Are the Mugans are, okay? Are the Mugans okay? <laughs> For some reason, I see Reiji being voiced by Patrick Warburton. Oh, uh, yeah. Got, got shot and the bullet bounced right off of me. Hey, Kamiyama. <laughs> Gotta hop at that there Mugen up there. <laughs> You'd do a little bit of calibration for me, would you? That Anastasia chick tried to shoot me and she missed. She's actually a pretty bad shot. Alright, y'all ready up in there, Kamiyama? Yeah, ready to go, let's go. Alright, let's go! <laughs> This is the biggest cliche. She's in a fucking healing tank you saw in Dragon Ball Z. Ah, uh, Goku didn't take the medicine and neither did Anastasia. Hey, do you ever think maybe operating on her would be better than maybe putting her in a vat of Tang? But don't you know, UDJ? Citrus saves everyone. A faint scent of fruit is in the air. Reiji, did you put her in apple juice? This whole thing is just such a non-issue because, you know, oh, she's so, she's so almost dead that if it were, were not for this tank, she'd be dead right now. And it's... I just... We had this tank all along? By the power of Sunny D, we'll bring her back to life. How's Anastasia? <laughs> Just let the magic tank do its job. Healing like properties of vitamin C will close all those wounds. Mugans are in tip top shape thanks to me. And once again, the Mugans are inoperable. <laughs> Is there ever a time when they're operable at all? <laughs> because Yasha just snapped her fingers and made it so that they don't work. Like, these Mugans are so poorly put together, I think, like, just a slight power surge would knock them offline for a month. Like, you've seen me. I'm kicking ass. I'm doing incredibly. But how are we still the underdogs in this? How It, it doesn't make sense. I don't get it. But hey, how's Anastasia? That's the real question here. <laughs> Alright, go find Hatsuho, bring her over here so they can do check out the spirit crystals in the Mugans. She's kind of qualified for that. I need the shrine maiden to look at the spirit crystals, you know it. Keep it cash, Kamiyama. All right, see you later. <laughs> oh, this is Sakura's theater outfit. Oh, I like that. Gives me the Arabian Nights feel. I believe it is from Arabian Nights. It's the only thing that makes sense. You know, I can actually see Sakura running through the game Prince of Persia. You know, the old one, which was bullshit. Can I just drop her to the spikes over and over again? <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have the sands of time, you just have a reload button. And also a quit button, so... Into the spikes, quit! Have you ever played Prince of Persia? I have. Like, the old one? I have. 
How far did you get? I got the sword. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was very young. It was a very old computer. Mm -hmm. I, did, I did not have the skills nor the resilience I have today. But I, I played it, the, the remake in the Prince of Persia Sands of Time game at, at the very end. Wait a minute. Are you saying there could possibly be a Let's Play of the Prince of Persia Sands of Time on your channel right now? Nah, you're talking crazy. Uh, well, I thought I had something there. You know, I really like that outfit. I love the colors. It's the Shinsengumi. I need a history look. The assassins slash bodyguards for the imperialists in the Shingoku era. Sorry, Tokugawa era. Sorry. Okay, because I was actually just about to ask for a history lesson because the only Shinsengumi I know are the cute boys from the Otomi game I have. There's a whole bunch of, of uh, cute Otome's Shinsengumi games. Because nothing is hotter than samurai assassins. Apparently not. Oh, Got it. Uh, right. Uh, Anastasia's awake. What? How did we know that? Did we just get a text? Yeah, we got a text. She started rising from the dead and moaning brains. But I, I think she bit me. Don't you mean... That's what I was about to say. So Goku and Vegeta, when they were in their regenerative tanks, they had, uh, like, a, a mask filter so they could breathe. But here it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Anastasia, are you okay? We put you in a vat of Sunny D! I can taste the power of the sun, Captain. And the Kool-Aid man bust in. Oh, yeah! So what is this gonna... How is this helping her if she's already weak? Has it even closed her wound yet? Maybe you should have, like, stitched her up first. <laughs> well, you know, it's a sealing agent. You know, you know, you put on a bunch of Sunny D, and eventually that's, like, acid, and it just seals up the hole. Like, they didn't even have a doctor on hand. Like, at least Diana was some sort of doctor, so she could help out. But here, they just, uh, what do we do? I don't know, throw her in the juice! Claris, we need your wind magic. Blow whole, the hurt away. My whole life has been a stage show. I've always played a part, but I've never once been myself. <laughs> you know, if it turns out the end of this game in the entirety of this plot was just a stage show, I might give it points for that. Too much credit. Too meta. I, I know, but that's what this game needs right now. It needs some meta. It needs a lot. <laughs> well, at least give me the meta. And then we can talk about the other fixes later. It needs meta. It needs structure. It needs pacing. It needs a unified artistic vision. And, and you know what? Fuck it. It needs hard rock. <laughs> maybe not that. I try to think maybe that'd be welcome, and it's... I don't, I don't think it's welcome. Hey, it worked for the Christmas show. It worked for Prince of Persia. <laughs> Uh, the tip-off should have been demonic power. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Anastasia, you're probably one of the smarter ones here. This is pretty stupid. What a cliched backstory. Like, I'm just thinking, hey, Lucifer! Yo, Lucy! You wanna do me a solid and bring my family back? Oh, get your special sword. Well, I can do that! Do you know where they put her in the tank? 
That, so way they just have, that way they just have to draw one scene, one picture, and have to render an entire hospital, make an entire new doctor character, make a bed for her to lie in, make a bed lying in animation. Well, technically there has been two. There was one where she was wearing nothing. Oh no! No! Okay, three. He starts banging on the tank. Clear! But I can't make any promises. I switched to grape juice. I've also got the blue raspberry, but if she needs the blue drink, Aww. God, God help us all. That's so cute, Clarice. I love it. Oh, wait, sorry. Important mode now. Your hair's clipping through your frills there, huh? It's a style choice. How are we supposed to treat her after this? Bullet between the eyes! <laughs> I can actually see in some of the bloopers for this game, Kamiyama does that, shoots the tank, it ricochets back and hits him in the forehead. <laughs> God damn it! Why do we have a bulletproof tank? We never abandon our own, except Sakura. We'll abandon her. Yeah, Reiji's kind of disposable, too. Seijiro holds a box that says, Free to a good home. <laughs> Puts it over Sakura's head. <laughs> you know, I just thought of something. That, that little scene there with Anastasia in the tube, that's actually her alternate costume for this chapter. It's just a tube. Ah, yes, the moon division. Oh, you mean the division from space? Oh, God, more explaining. Okay. All right. So I should get back to the Let's Play here. <clears throat> Welcome back to New Sakura Wars, I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. <laughs> this is, uh, we are now in the seventh chapter of Sakura Wars. Mm -hmm. This is where despair is... At a, it's, it's, it's at a pretty high point right now. Shit's about to start getting real, and now the enemy has shown their hand, and now we gotta retaliate with a good enough hand ourselves. The thing is, we suck. So, the idea is, I'll summarize this whole thing. So Tetsu Ganon is, uh, is a guy who wants to bring back the Archdemon so he can overtake the world, hate, malice, destruction, misery, blood, death, all that, all that good stuff. And he's very powerful because he has the, because, you know, because he's, you know, fucking demon. So, they made something called the Imperial Key. Which was a sword. They used the sword to seal the Archdemon and foiled Ganon's plans. But Ganon has been secretly plotting behind the scenes so that way he can overtake the combat reviews and find the Imperial Key so he can use that to unseal Shadow Tokyo and the Archdemon and bring hate, death, malice, blood to all that, to all that good stuff here. So, this is about the point in the game where we are on a free fall into stupid. What? When Sakura's dad comes in later on, we are going to get on our first stop of irredeemably stupid bullshit. There are many stops from this point out. So, begin the free fall! Okay, world into darkness. Don't let it happen, okay. Seal is breaking because they got the key and all that, and demons are leaking out everywhere. Well, it kind of sounds like it's already broken through. 
Yeah, I think we're already kind of fucked. I mean, like, the door is open, but uh, the Archdemon hasn't left the house yet, you know what I'm saying? No, oh, okay. Alright, here we go. Oh, she's alive! Oh, he's here! It's time. He eh? has a way in order to stop Sotetsu Genon's plan and bring him back the Archdemon, even though he has the Imperial Key. What are we gonna do? We got a plan. We got an idea. He forged the Imperial Sword, which became the Imperial Key. The Amiyama Kusinara. Kukuni Sada, I mean. What? He forged the, this mythical sword so that way we could see, we could uh, separate Shadow Tokyo from the real Tokyo and seal it. Okay. So we gotta get the swords back as fast as we can. But we can make another sword. If we make another sword, Why? that gets the power, and then the other sword loses its power. <laughs> so let's just make a new sword, right? Like an exact replica? We'll just make a new sword. It'll be the same kind of power in it. And then the power will cancel out the other power from the other one. So that means the original sword is just insignificant. Yep, it's just, it's just a sword. We gotta make we gotta make the second sword first. Let's go make a sword. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you see this. The only way for me to make another demon slaying sword is to sacrifice one of my children. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Sacrifice your life, Sakura. <laughs> Give me your life force. <laughs> Give me your blood. The sword that Sakura has been carrying around this whole time is her fucking mother. <laughs> She's been carrying her mom's sword this whole time. Oh uh, no! Well, time to die! <laughs> <laughs> That's why she was so important to this story. <laughs> See, the, the, the funny thing is, I despise <laughs> Sakura. I, I I really started to not like her as a character even early in my first playthrough, and then the game pushed her in my face, so I really got to dislike her. So now when it's like, oh no, we have to sacrifice we have to sacrifice Sakura in order to save the world, I'm like, all right, let me go throw her in the forge. Sakura, we can easily make a sword if we throw you in a meat grinder. Will that work? Can we fatten her up and make, like, two swords? <laughs> ah, she's got anime metabolism. Ain't no way she's gaining a pound. Oh, so just a rapier, then? <laughs> well, sacrifice your life, then! Okay, why does it have to be your bloodline? Why can't it be, you know, the cousin I don't see much anymore? Because anime bullshit. Oh my god, he's actually pulling a Hihachi! <laughs> she is a pretty anime girl, do not sacrifice her life! So, stop number one on our free fall of stupid. What if we ask them very nicely? We need Sakura's life to create a sword that'll cancel out the power of the other sword. And now Sumire's uh, officials have called. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, no, that's a good idea. Go throw her in. The Go make a sword. Go do it. Yeah, that's great. Hey, Sumire, <laughs> can you do us a solid? 
It's a very <laughs> Throw the bitch in the fire! <laughs> How do we just not know that Tekken's being possessed or something like that? And it really, it's just like a bait and switch. I'm gonna drag Sakura by the ear to the forge, throw her in the fire, make a sword out of her, and sell it at a mall for 20 bucks. Or, you know, $59.99 plus tax and DLC. <laughs> you know, what if we actually turn this into a war for Sakura? You know, an actual Sakura war. I think it would be kind of interesting, like, if... If, like, the big old demon just wanted to kill her... You know, we're actually getting into the war part, like, it's a war to protect her so she could be sacrificed versus her getting just offed. She did it with a smile. <laughs> without oh, that's spoiling, without sad. spoiling anything, something kind of similar happens in Sakura Wars 5. Oh, really? But it, uh, this this kind of scene happens with every girl you choose because, you know, it has to be one... You know, one of you will die, and, you know, they they each go, it'll be me. So, really, we're just getting a fifth of the story here, basically. They only wrote Sakura's part, and everybody else just kind of gets the scraps. I still think that would be a really good plot twist. Like, the girl you've been getting the most points with immediately throws her hand on the barbecue grill, being like, I'll do it. No, That's fine. Great. But that'd be like a after a point of no return type thing. True. Well, been nice knowing you. High five. There's no way we can do this. I think it'd be better as a lance. <laughs> Sakura's life force hasn't exactly matured yet, so she turns into like some shuriken or a couple of kunais. A rattle. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a <laughs> maybe a metallic spork. Now I know what she turns into. She turns into one of those metal straws because she sucks. Well, I took Sakura into the forge, and all I came out with were these Amamiya brand spurs for your boots. So, uh. I don't know, enjoy riding a horse, I don't know. I thought it'd be like, This is bullshit, so I, Seijiro, will reluctantly accept my mission! Into the fire, Sakura! <laughs> but what if we throw the flower in her hair? Does that count? Ha 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 ha! I swear to god, this is like the Sonic 06 of the Sakura Wars series. <laughs> Except this one is a lot uh, better put together. Right down to the point of where it's like, I don't care about the whole world, I want to see you! Elise! Uh, that also had a story that centered around a girl that nobody liked. But, UDJ, if she cries, the whole world goes up in flames. So, you so, know, so make sure she never watches sad movies. Make sure she never eats hot peppers. <laughs> make sure that she ne make sure she's got skin as tough as rocks. Otherwise, someone's gonna call her a douche and she's gonna start crying. <laughs> make sure, make sure she, she never get... sees roadkill. <laughs> yeah. Make sure she doesn't get stung by a bee. Make sure she never stubs her toe. Why don't you just kill her right now so that way the world doesn't end? But 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 but. She's a princess! Did you have more? We'll all, we'll all jump into the fire! <laughs> it's a group burning! Woo! What is he doing? Oh god, this is just taking forever. As your commanding officer, I decree we shall all jump on the flames together, and our ashes shall make the best sword. I love how Tekken's just taking this all in stride. He's just like, yeah, I gotta burn my daughter alive. It's, it's cool. Wait a minute. I got it. I'll marry Sakura, 
Have a kid with her, and use the kid to make a sword! Oh, perfect! But wait, that involves marrying Sakura, and having sex with her. Damn it! No way! Oh, but there's always adoption! Get, get, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off me! And this is where you body slam her, knock her out, throw her into the fire. Just knee her in the gut and then just give her a pedigree. You know, I kind of like the adoption angle. It's just like, hey, who wants to be the savior of the world? Yeah, I kind of like the pro wrestling angle. Give some of these <laughs> ladies some perspective. Suplex! <laughs> It's the Kamiyama Slam. Hatsune would probably like that. She's like, yeah, it's a real fight. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, fight. Oh, oh, oh. Turns into a completely different game. All of a sudden, we're just smacking each other around in a wrestling ring. The zombie always wins because she's got the ninja techniques. Like, you try and grab onto her, and you think you do, but you grab, you grab it onto a log. Anastasia's special move is throwing the tube at people. <laughs> Yeah, in a real life scenario, <laughs> my two options are kill the girl or kill the demons. Which one am I gonna go with? Yeah, what? there we go. I don't know they're talking to because I mean, are we disbanded because we lost the fucking tournament games? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, are we it like all, out of a job anyway? It all comes back to the games. I think the best part is, had we won the games, first prize is a life-size replica and living, breathing Sakura Amamiya that we could, you know, toss into the fire. Oh, we're gonna steal Shadow Tokyo's heart. Perfect! I don't think of it. I don't know why they went with this angle that all the combat reviews are owned under one, like, conglomerate or whatever. I always thought that the reviews were, like, free agents. Kind of existed as their own because they were, like, fucking superstars who could afford all their fun stuff. And had backing from, like, the, mil the paramilitary complex. I, I think they're more like Ghostbusters at this point. I mean, wouldn't this wouldn't this be yet another better angle? If we start off with the you know under the W L O F or whatever, and then they do a no, they do an order we don't like. So early on at the game, like probably after the first chapter, we split off from them and become our own free agent. That means we don't have the same resources we used to, but we build that up. And so we bring in that management stuff we were talking about earlier. Where we try to get to build up funds, and we try to assign jobs, and try to keep you know, some cash flow going into the theater, so we can afford things like repairs and bullets and ammo, and maybe yeah. there'll be like free battles to go into, so we can like grind up for stuff, and we can get like you know relationship points by going with. The... It's come on! If you're gonna make it a new soccer wars, don't make it just a some mediocre fucking boring shit like this. Make it like Armor Core! <laughs> <laughs> or Shin Megami Tensai, fuck it. Do a Devil Survivor, that was awesome. Shin Megami Armored Core, it's sure! A... It's like, oh hey, you have a limited amount of time to save, you know, specific people from the demons. Oh wait, you can do free battles all day and as many as you want? Sweet. Oh, so, uh, uh, Anastasia's alive now. And fully clothed. Uh, okay. By the way, don't mind the tears in the outfit. I'll sew those up later. Can you see my ribs a little bit? I'm trying to close this wound here. Oh, she she still hasn't like sewn herself back together. The juice didn't help, obviously. <laughs> Rage is like, I don't know how. <laughs> I tried scotch tape and it didn't work. Let me get the nail gun. <laughs> ah! Ah! I got the Elmer's glue. <laughs> It's not turning into a body horror episode. It's like her wounds like full of staples and stitches and glue. And look, look, I have first hand experience on being stapled back together, so I already know that horror. I can go permission denied saying, nah, you're not coming with me. <laughs> you fucking traitorous bitch. We don't need you, Tits McGee. Just go back into your juice. <laughs> 
please don't be eager to sacrifice your life. But you know, you're uh, you're uh, doing a solid for a demon here. They might pay you back. Look, it's either you come back with me or you get court-martialed, and that was a nice loading. <laughs> We've spent over half an hour. So, yeah, yeah, what, what happened today? Uh, well, we, we found Anastasia out that the, got, uh... Yeah, Anastasia got wounded, now she's better. Uh-huh. Reiji the Mug is fine now. The Mugans oh. are messed up, except for two, mine and uh, Anastasia's. We gotta make a sword out of Sakura in order to save the world, but fuck that. I feel like we could have done all this in 15 minutes if it was paced correctly. I mean, we did get that amazing phone call from corporate saying, Hey, uh, can you actually sacrifice that girl? We're trying to, we're trying to do a thing here. I don't know, you're you're not exactly putting your life on the line, you're more putting discomfort on the line. Ah, shut up and give me Diet Coke. You put that in the tube and then put Reiji in there. Alright, it is time for battle! <gasps> Let's win this one, everyone! You know, I always like these kind of moments of, you know, victory, like, hoorah, let's get out there and fight. Well, what I hate now oh. is that everything that we do from this point on is going to be all for Sakura's sake. Oh, yay. We're not trying to save the world because it, we should save the world. We're trying to save the world because so that way Sakura doesn't die. That's ridiculous. Okay. Cool. Well, ne next time on New Sakura Wars, we're going to head into the first battle of the chapter, for there are two of you. Ooh. Yes. See you next time.